Hey guys, into the end here. So we're on to the Shadow Eclipse event. I think there's one day left. And this is my fourth entry, I think. So I do need to play a few more games to get myself ranked. Or placed, I mean. Um, this hand is not good, but a lot of defensive spells. This will fetch me the shadow that I need. I have double green. I think it's fine um, with against an unknown opponent. Um, this is pretty good against basically any kind of aggressive deck. I have three early game removal spells against um, small units and then one removal spell against large units. So I think this is fine. Although drawing a lot of removal spells may not be the best thing. I have five removal spells and one threat yeah so against deck like this suffocate is at its best um so because i drew the hero i'm not going to run out the piercing grief and the idea is that i will um play the hero and the piercing grief in the same turn and because i have so many removal spells i don't need the various favor as a removal i rather guarantee myself my fourth land just in case whatever reason I don't draw land next turn, how small chance that may be. So this is perfect. I have plenty, plenty of removal spells to go around. Um, I'm going to use Sabotage. Uh, basically, Felm decks have a lot of very good spells. Getting rid of a Backlash, for example, is perfectly fine. Um, I don't care about either of these, to be honest, but I guess... The permafrost is slightly more annoying. So let's get rid of the permafrost. And I'm just gonna keep that thing alive. I don't really care if it hits me for two. So we do know that he has a suffocate in his hand. The suffocate can't hit the hero though, and it can't basically the suffocate can't hit anything in my deck, so I think it's fine. Oh it can hit the um, stone powder alchemist, but that's also fine. This unit is kind of annoying. <laughs> this is perfect. Although this does get hit by Suffocate. And I miss my land drop despite drawing two cards a turn. So this is really unfortunate. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill this. And then uh, sabotage him in case he has a Haunting Scream in his hand that he just drew recently. Uh, which he didn't. So he won't be able to bring that back next turn. Unless of course he top decks it. Um... And because now he has another copy of Suffocate in his hand, um, I'm not going to run the steward out there to give him a free kill. Sure. Although, maybe running it out there just to silence these units is not that bad, even if he does kills it with Suffocate. I just don't really want to get hit by this thing and him drawing three cards and gaining three life. There we go. Another land. Okay, so... <laughs> um. Because I drew a land, I go ahead and attack him for 7. On the following turn, I think my plan is to steward him and sabotage him. Because the sabotage will get rid of the last self kick from his hand. And then the steward will basically get rid of any void shenanigans that he may have. That's perfectly fine. I don't really care about my life total too much. And I don't care about his life, life total too much. So cards like Piercing Grieve is kind of irrelevant to me. Um... I just don't really want him drawing extra cards. Because that deck is a tempo-based deck. He has a lot of very cheap, efficient spells. So he is going to be able to empty, empty out his hands very quickly. So any cards that he draws just gives him that much more gas to sort of vomit them onto the board and develop a very strong board position. Um, so he kills my unit. I'm perfectly fine with that. So once again, I think my plan is the same. I'm going to silence his yard. And then I'm going to take the Suffocate away from his hand. Um, is, that, is that his third copy of Suffocate? No, he used Annihilate last turn on the hero, of course. Um, I'm going to play the Seed first, because I don't need the power this turn. So next turn, if he kills my Steward, um, I can just Harsh Will away. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and play Macdo. Um, oh, that's interesting. Sure. That's... I'll trade it for uh, his rapid shot because I'm planning to harsh rule. Uh, luckily, he has no power left to backlash, and this thing has no Aegis. So he's. Oh! Ah. 
I don't really want to harsh away my own hero here, but I guess what I'll do is um, play this Piercing Grief just to refresh the revenge on the hero and then attack for... Uh, actually, you might as well attack with both. I can get 3 damage in. This will just go back on top of my deck. I can Harsh Rule. Yeah, that seems fine. So my opponent will have one card left in his hand. I don't know what it is, uh, because I have seen all the spells. Um, it's an unknown spell, but he's going to have no cards in play and one card in hand while I have five. Um, I feel like he's probably going to get crushed this game. Now with luck, uh, the Pathfinder will give the hero the echo, and then I can go infinite. And then at that point, I don't think this kind of uh, ag aggro deck can ever beat the infinitely ag uh, echoing, uh, destinying, revenging um, hero of the people. Yeah, see, none of this stuff matters. Um, oh, here's some grief comes back first. Um, so, I don't need the harsh rule. I could just play the Macdo, which will block both of his units. Uh, I don't care if that thing hits me for one. Um, but I'm actually more interested in giving the hero Echo because it's fun. And I don't really care about winning that much. So let's just do that. Um, I'm still going to kill this thing so I can attack for three. My deck doesn't have too, too many creatures, and I know that the hero is the top 10 cards of my deck, and the Piercing Grief has already come out, so I think my odds are, are not bad. Ah, wait, I have two Piercing Grief? That's... oh, that's too bad. So I went on to the Piercing Grief, not the hero. That's too bad. <laughs> so my, my opponent concedes because this is too much. Um, yeah. My draw was very good, and my opponent's draw was mediocre. Um, just drawing units and removal spells isn't good enough against a deck like mine. Uh, what he needs is some kind of disruption, either with a sabotage or backlash, to, to disrupt my removal spells. I think that's what he, he needs in his deck, against my kind of deck anyway. Um, on to the second game. And uh, so... My main goal for these games, I mean, winning will be fine, but I think I'm always going to try and build an infinite echo loop with Hero, because that's the most fun. Um, so we'll see if we can get that going. A lot of the times, though, your opponents, uh, my opponents can see when it happens, so you don't actually get to see it, which is kind of too bad. Um, Okay, I'm going to need to draw a lot of, well, not a lot. At the very least, one more Justice and one more Shadow to be able to play my cards. <laughs> Preferably the Shadow first, so I can play Stuart, and then the Justice, so I can play Inquis uh, Inquisitor Mac, though. But at the rate things are going, I'm not going to be able to cast any of them. I do need to draw lands, though. That's the most important right now. Any land is better than no land, but... I get my choice, I draw a shadow. Oh, there we go. I get both. Couldn't ask for more. I'm not going to run the hero out there. It's just going to get killed for no reason. Um, I'm not going to kill this with... But then 2, 4, 6, 8... Wait, I have 10 cards? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Crap. I guess... Eh, whatever. I'll play the hero. If whatever weird chance he doesn't get killed... Actually... That still doesn't do anything, because I'll just give it Deadly next turn. Oh no, this card is very good against me. There's all my Mactos, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, he got rid of the Stewards, because he's got some kind of Void Shenanigans, I think. I mean, that would be the only reason why he gets rid of the Steward, right? Um, two, four, six, eight, nine, so I'll play one more. So there's no chance of discarding. It's also weird that he chose not to kill my hero, um, knowing that I could have given it some abilities on the following turn. Oh, okay, so he's hitting the Macdos now. Oh man, my opponent's got some kind of very heavy control deck going on, so 
how am I going to win this game? Um, well, let's start with giving my top unit Echo. Now let's start with giving the hero some special abilities. And then I'll attack him with everything. He's going to trade it off and draw a card, which is fine. I mean, he has more cards than he knows how to deal with anyway. Uh, with these colors, he doesn't have Harsh Rule, but he could very well be playing Lightning Storm. But then again, I don't really care if I have these frogs in my hand or in play, right? If he kills it with a Lightning Storm, then he kills it with Lightning Storm. I don't really care. These are pretty expendable, I would say. That really hurts, though, losing both Magdal and um, the other thing, whatever it was. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ouch. Yes, of course. Good combo with Reign of Frogs, I guess. Oh, oh he's discarding it. Okay, well, I have plenty of removal spells, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna see if I can set up some sweet echoing stuff going on with... I think if I can get a echoing hero of the people with revenge, I don't think this deck can stop it, because I think it's too late for him. Because um, this is no longer going to be my hand, so he can't rain a frog set anymore. And he's doesn't have any silencing effects in these colors. So if I hit a hero and I'm able to give it Echo Revenge, sorry, your Revenge, then I think I'm set. There's his third copy. Sure, I guess. Probably gonna take the Slay at this point. Because none of the other cards matter. I don't think it affects him in any way. So Slay is the best card against him. Harsh Rule is probably fine too, but who knows, he'll, maybe he'll play the fourth copy of Rain of Frogs. Oh, okay. That's why he took the Steward, because he has a Void deck. Um, well, that's too bad. I can no longer kill this, and I don't have anything going on. Hmm, should I just go ahead and kill all units? Hmm, and I guess I shouldn't have played the frogs, huh? Uh, let's just give him minus, minus, minus one. I don't think Plague is going to get any better. Um, at least this way I can attack him with both of these units, and he can only block one. Um, he ganks two life, and he takes three damage, so he only takes one damage. But the benefit is I gain three life myself. So let's see what he plays. If he plays a couple more creatures, I'm gonna, I can maybe harsh wheel them away and then play the Stone Powder Alchemist. But this is quite annoying though. Three Rain of Frogs is a lot. Losing Steward is quite painful against a deck like this one that looks to reanimate. Um, I can beat a reanimator deck, but uh, I do need the hero with Echo to, to get going. Um, Oh, it's going to be a 3 on forever. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and attack him. And then Harsh Rule. Because having all these units in play doesn't help me. Because when he plays the next uh, Black Sky Harbinger, they all die. They, every one of them dies. And he gains like 6 life off of them. So uh, I'm actually pretty incentivized to just destroy everything here. Oh, he has a backlash. Maybe a wisdom of the elders. No, he doesn't. I mean, I don't think it should matter to him that because he's only losing one unit. And I'm losing like five. So even if he had a backlash, he's not very incentivized to use it. Um, that's kind of annoying, I guess. Oh man, if he draws my echoing hero, that would be the worst. Yeah, just imagine if I set up an Echoing Hero and then he draws it and he gets it. He can't refresh the Revenge like I can, but that would be absolutely devastating for me. Um, 
do I then? Well, I mean, the hero that I have on top already has Echo, so it's not like I... Yeah, so it's not like... Yeah. Um, there's no point running out the Piercing Grief because he can block it. Um, and I don't want to use the Favor because I think he probably has Champions of Cunning in his deck. And I don't care about getting rid of his Aegis. This will trigger the Aegis and get rid of it, so... Oh, please don't draw my Echoing unit. Oh god. Please. No! He draws an Echoing unit. I wonder what it is. Oh my god, if that's a hero of the, the people, I'll be so sad. I think this game couldn't have gone worse for me. Okay, he got the Piercing Grief. Thank god! Okay, let's block this thing. I hope that's my piercing grief. Oh yeah, it has to be. It has echo on it. There's no way he would be playing one that has echo. So thank God he got the piercing grief and not the hero. <laughs> uh, he's got a million cards. That's drawing cards is kind of pointless for him at this point. Come on, hero. Uh, that's not good. Mm, I guess I will run both of these out there and hit him, and then with four mana play the alchemist. Hit him for nine. So the the three one echoing hero is still on my deck. I need you know to get. Uh, I actually have no way to give it uh, flying anymore because I lost Macdo. So it'll only be a four four at the very best. And I actually have no way to kill this thing because I lost my slays. That's actually very problematic. That completely ends my uh, uh, revenge shenanigans. And I don't have um, I don't have my harsh rule anymore, so I can't. I actually have very little ways to kill this uh, steward. Never mind, I just drew one. Let's kill it first because it's very problematic. Oh, now he wants to use his backlash. Devour? That's fine. It still dies. Sure. Mm. Let's just go ahead and burn his eggs at this point. I do want more lands to work with, and he hasn't drawn a champion of cunning yet, so there's no guarantee that he has it. Um, I'm still going to go ahead with the echoing plan. Uh, yeah, I'll attack, because I don't really care if the stone powder alchemist dies. It's actually better that it dies. I get two copies back. And this will force through some damage, so I think it's very good. He's pretty much, he's, oh, he's actually chosen not to kill my Stone Powder Alchemist because he's worried that I get two copies. I mean, that's, that's fine, that's fine play, but um, killing it reduces my board, so it's better for him in the short term, but then it's worse for him in the long term when I get it back, so yeah, it's a tough decision to make. I guess it depends on what's in his hand. He's got so many cards, and he's discarding cards every turn. I, I wonder what's in his hand. Like, what, what is it that he's not playing? He's drawn more than half his deck. Any game plan that he has for his deck, he should be able to do now. So he should be able to resurrect Vera um, if he wants to, and then bring back probably a sky, uh, blue, black sky harbinger. Or oh, actually, no, he might bring back the steward. Oh, he's got a... He's got a... Yeah, but that doesn't work because I have 42 life already. What? How? Oh, no, no, no. He drew, he, he, he just drew it off of the other one. Right, 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 right. He has two. So he has both my echoing powder, uh, stone powder alchemist and my echoing uh, piercing grief, which he's only one copy of. So he has one more piercing grief in his hand and one more uh, alchemist in his hand. Nope, actually, the other one's dead. Because he discarded it, I think. So he has one more piercing grief in his hand. Yeah. Alright. Wait, why doesn't this thing have echo? Didn't I just play? Oh, because he drew it. Wow, that is ultra annoying. Um. Oh, I guess I'll just keep shooting him for two. 
keep attacking him. Wonder if I have enough Stone Powder Alchemist that I can just harsh rule away my board and hope that in a few turns they come back and kill him. Actually, for a deck that runs means to an end, he doesn't have that many life gain cards. In fact, he has like none. Except for the, har uh, the Harbinger, of course. Yep, that's good enough for me. So he does kill my uh, echoing. Oh, there it is. Getting five life off the. Uh, oh no, yeah, getting five life off the Harbinger. Or is he gonna go for the steward to end the, the shenanigans here? Oh, this gains some more life. Sure. Hmm. But if no cards in his deck and he doesn't kill me, then he loses the next turn, right? Should I just let him? Gain more life so that he can trigger means to an end? Or is he gonna cast like three more in the last turn and do like 75 damage to me? Is that what's gonna happen? Actually, don't know. Yeah, because at this rate, if he triggers it this turn. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, does he? He's gonna. He's gonna lose, right? I don't know what to do. Hmm. Should I clear the board or should I not clear the board at this point? Although he kills me on like physical damage, though, so I should I should probably kill the, uh, clear the board. So I'm definitely not killing him on damage anymore, but I'm certainly not gonna die on damage. <laughs> Oh, there's the hero. Sweet. But the hero doesn't... Well, the hero is really far down. It was like my 10th card or something. Uh, I can't give this echo anymore. I think all my Pathfinders are dead. Oh, there's one more Pathfinder, but... I've only drawn one hero, though, this game. The other three heroes still there. Um... I'm... Going to attack him and give him the opportunity to gain six life here. I don't think he's incentivized to do that, because he will deck himself. Sure. Um, so if you have Backlash, then what? Well, I'm still going to start with a Harsh Rule, because I think this is the safest play. If he has a Backlash, then I can start using Vanquish on some of his units and hope... Nope, he doesn't have it. Alright. What is he going to do now? So he's got... Wait, did he gain more cards? Oh, because he has my revenge units going back? Ugh. Giving him more cards? Oh, actually, if he attacks with both of these, he decks himself this turn. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he loses, because this only does 25 damage. Hmm. I wonder, wonder how he intends to kill me. What else? What else is in his deck? So the funny thing is my opponent could have beaten me very easily if he had a real deck and just attacked me with real cards. Uh, but <laughs> because he went full gimmick, uh, I think he's in trouble now. Oh man, the fact that he, uh, Reign of Frogs, my steward, made me quite sad. Very good against this, uh, decks like this. Oh, I think he's dead now, right? Oh, he needs to kill me before the beginning of his next turn? Can he? This is, he can do 9, 11 damage to me though on, um, uh, yeah, he can, he can do 11 damage. Wow, this is actually surprisingly close. Opponent is also running out of time, and he's panicking a little bit. <laughs> what a way to end the game. He, he really should have just been spending time trying to kill me with Vera, 
and a bunch of units rather than trying to activate the means to an end. <laughs> uh, well, that was an interesting game to say the least. Um, I'm going to end the video here and uh, record the other games separately. Thanks for watching.